a kid in the summer. Tell them how we named this thing. Yes. So for the name of the podcast, Kids in the Summer, it is actually a reference to a song by my favorite artist of all time, Kid Quill. Um, and this song is kind of just about like growing up and wanting to be a kid in the summer and hanging out yeah. with your childhood friends and how, you know, like you just kind of grow apart as time goes on. So uh, if you actually, haven't listened to it, go listen to it. It hits you hard. It, it does. It's a really awesome song. <laughs> I sent that song to Patrick and really like all of my friends from high school. And uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and with the, with the comment, grab a tissue. <laughs> Yeah, we felt like that song kind of applied to us a lot because, like, you know, as we've gotten older, we definitely talked less. And so this podcast is kind of just giving us a that reason one. to really talk more and stay connected. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's important a... to stay connected, especially with childhood friends. Yeah, definitely. And so uh, also the theme song for the intro is that song. So uh, if you yeah. like that theme song, you should definitely go check out Kid Quill. I always like to shout him out because his music is great and he doesn't have a lot of fans. So I really want him to keep making more music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he is great he really is yeah and so on that actually i want to tell the story of the first time i went and saw him in concert so okay. um so i had found out that he was going on tour as an opening act only because uh he still hadn't made it made it big yet big enough to go on a solo tour and so um he was going to be in houston but i was in dallas at utd and it was going to be on like a weekday <laughs> So like I had school the next day and everything, but uh, I had been having like a bad past couple of weeks. And so I was kind of like, just, you know, not feeling it. And I really wanted to go see this concert. <laughs> so uh, Naimisha and Mukta were both like, let's go. Let, let's just go. Like, <laughs> we want to go with you. Let's drive three hours to Houston and three hours back tonight. And let's go see this Golly. concert. <laughs> and he's the opening act too. So he's only going on for like 40 minutes. It's not even like a full concert. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going six hours driving for this. And so. Yeah, because why not? Because why not, man? Why not? Like, that's the real reason. Never be like, just do stuff because that's where you get the just best memories. That's where you get your best memories, man. Okay. It's so, so true when you just pack up and go. Yep. Yeah, so we drove three hours to Houston. Also, my parents don't know this, and this, they listen to the podcast. So this is going to be the first time they know this, but yeah. So one night when I was at UTD, I just randomly drove three hours to Houston in the back. <laughs> but <laughs> so anyway, so we go to Houston, and we get Hi, to Mom. the... <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the, uh, to the venue, and it's this tiny venue. Also... Mukta and Amisha like to laugh because I had to parallel park and I failed miserably at this venue. <laughs> Dude, you can't just... park. <laughs> <laughs> I can park pretty decently. Parallel parking. This, like, this was the first time I had parallel parked since my driver's exam, which was like a year earlier. So I had like completely <laughs> forgot everything about how to parallel park. <laughs> so it took me a solid like 10 minutes to park it. But what? Luckily, <laughs> that might be a little exaggeration, but it was it was it was bad. <laughs> God, might as well but, just uh, push it. <laughs> just me. There was moments where I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we go into the venue, and it's this like tiny venue, where it's like you know, very the smallest venue I've ever been to for a concert, and there's okay. only like ten people there, and it's like you know. 20 minutes before the concert so a little bit of time but there's only 10 people there that's not a little bit of time chris <laughs> <laughs> and so you know it, it rolls around and it gets yeah. up to probably like 25 people at the concert and that's it's, it's when packing. the first opening act comes on so it wasn't kid quill yet this is the first opening act it was some local houston band um and so they came on and they they were all right um but i was there for kid quill i didn't really care about them <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go so, take a nap. So then they go off and then, you know, we're waiting around. I don't have to worry about being in the front because there's only, you know, 25 people. So I can get in the front no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is in the front. <laughs> so uh, finally, okay. so finally, uh, Kid Quill comes on and I'm going crazy. I'm singing every lyric with him. And there's, he's an opening act with like only like a couple thousand fans overall. And I'm up there singing every lyric with him. <laughs> oh, God. So he was like blown away by it. 
<laughs> and so I, I we're we're going you know toe to toe like singing it, and then uh, at oh, one yeah, point he just. <laughs> At one point, he's like, you know, he like in the middle of the song, just kind of laughs a little bit and says, "Like this kid's fucking awesome." <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> Bleep. Yep. <laughs> that is awesome. I love uh, it. This kid's fucking awesome. <laughs> so, uh, so he like finishes the concert. And then uh, he goes off stage, uh, and so he said that you know he'd be back in the back signing uh, merch at this merch table after the main performer, right? So I'm excited. I'm like, okay, you know this is great. I'm gonna get to meet him after the concert. Um, Heck yeah! So now, autograph. Yep. So now the main performer comes on, and uh, he he was not my favorite. <laughs> Me and Amisha and Mukta were very very bored. <laughs> My favorite part about Didn't this performer. Didn't like, sit on a couch or something? Yeah, we're going to get to that. <laughs> My favorite part about this story, though, is that this main performer did a costume change after every song, basically. Like, he did at least, like, six or seven costume changes. It's like J-Lo before J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no backstage. So what, what there was was, like, an outside. So he would finish the song and then run outside and change in like the backyard, basically, of the venue. <laughs> and then That's run the back backyard. in. <laughs> There's no curtain or anything. It was just go out the back door and then come back in the back door and go back on stage. <laughs> awesome. And With style and dignity. He committed to this, co to like switching outfits after every song. So it'd be one time he does a song and then they would just play a song like, on a like on a boombox basically <laughs> while he was changing okay. the next song <laughs> nice okay so, so we had him and then a drake song <laughs> him and then some jay-z <laughs> it, it was great wow so like halfway through this uh we're we're like sitting in the front hanging out and then we're um but i see kid quill kind of sneak around to his booth in the back while the concert's still going on so I'm like, well, this okay. is like my chance to like go talk to him one on one because like afterwards people are gonna go up yeah. to him. So I'm like, okay, let, he's like, gonna get mobbed. He's gonna get mobbed by the 25 people there. I was really worried about <laughs> yeah. getting that long line that he might not be able to get to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> he might not have enough merch. <laughs> so, uh, so I see him back there. So I'm thinking about going back there, but like. I kind of uh, chicken out a bit because <laughs> I got nervous about it. But okay. so while while so I'm talking about this, while I'm talking about this with Nymesha to like you know get psych myself up to go do it, right. Mukta disappears, and so we like <laughs> we like look around and then we turn around and she's sitting on a sofa in the back of the venue, <laughs> eating a granola bar, <laughs> just chilling. Just chilling. She didn't tell us she's going back there. She just disappeared. <laughs> Where'd she get a granola bar? I think she brought it. I don't actually know. <laughs> you don't bring snacks. <laughs> That's not a thing. You're not supposed to bring snacks. <laughs> she brought it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Whatever. So me and Amisha are like, okay, let's go sit up back there on the sofa with her. So Naimisha sits next to Mukta and I sit next to Naimisha and we're just yeah. talking. And then I feel someone sit down next to me. Ooh. And so I like freeze for a second thinking, no, like there's no way. So I turn That's around and it's Kid Quill sitting right there next to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what's up? I'm Mitch. I'm Mitch. <laughs> you mean his, name, like, his name's not Kid? <laughs> his name is not Kid, surprisingly. <laughs> so so I'm here like, I was yeah. thinking it was Kid. <laughs> so he says, what's up, I'm Mitch. And I just go, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got my face, dude. <laughs> so then we just like start talking. He like starts asking me like how I became a fan and everything. And so then he's like, you know, if you want, like, we can step out into the lobby and we can, like, talk more, like, without music on. I'm like, yes, I would love that. So we, like, step out into the lobby and we talk Easy for, things. like, 20, 25 minutes just about, like, stuff. We talk about life. We talk about college and stuff because he had just graduated college. 
And so nice. like, we were talking about that kind of stuff. And then uh, I got a photo, which I can share with you uh, from that night. You got a photo with Kid Quill. There is Ooh, me and Kid you, Quill Chris. <laughs> from wow. that night. He's even, that, he's taller than I figured he would be. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So uh, yeah, that, that was, that was honestly like one of the best nights of my life. That's awesome. <laughs> well, good for you, Chris. You look, you look seven, but. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can just see how big my smile is in there. Like I was literally at the biggest, I, I could not just stop smiling the whole like time I was talking with him and everything. How many That's people awesome. get to talk to their favorite artist of all time for 30 minutes? Not very Nobody. many. No, so, just like, you. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed that moment. Um, and like he was joking around about um, how for this concert, he had actually stayed at a frat house the night before because like he didn't nice. have enough money to get a hotel. So he just like stayed at a frat house. And uh, I remember him saying that he was using the shower, the frat house and it was like a communal shower. So there's multiple people there. And then like of one of the other frat people was just like, um, hey, I don't, I don't remember seeing you around here before. And he's like, no, like I'm, I'm actually just a rapper. And the guy's like, you're a rapper. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure, you're a rapper. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm a rapper. I have a concert tonight. And he's like, sure. <laughs> sure, sure you do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is how big Kid Quill is. <laughs> yep. Thankfully, he's actually gotten much bigger since then. Now that I'm older, I want to be younger. Now that I'm wiser, I want to be dumber now that i know what i know and i see what i saw i wish that i could be a kid